welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do an updated rave and festival fashion trends video because I love to do these in January at the beginning of the year to predict what I think is going to be big in festival fashion. And now that we're more than halfway through the year, I've definitely been seeing some trends happen. We've got some amazing stylistic choices that I think have been so sick. So I want to kind of report on what I'm seeing right now for summer as we're we still have a ton of festivals to go and then kind of like into fall what I think will be big. So I also asked you guys on Instagram to send in your submissions. So I'm going to pop those up here as well. But with all that being said, let's get started. Okay, so one of the first trends I wanted to talk about is kind of like I'm calling it witching hour, but kind of like this witchy inspired kind of like fairy almost like style so it's like these long bell sleeves kind of like the braided rompers or braided bodysuits which I'll get into but just very like cool witchy style a lot of black but it also can have like really crazy patterns or colors um, embellishments rhinestones sequins like just very witchy style clothing which I'm absolutely loving um I'm going to pop up a couple shops here as well, but I believe they're called X Tainted Threads is one of the shops that does this so well. That's been really popular. A lot of these shops too, since they are small businesses, you guys definitely, if you want to do any custom orders or, you know, if you have a deadline of a festival, just make sure you check the shipping times on them because some of them may take two to three months to custom make and then ship to you guys. So do keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, X Tainted Threads is one of them that has been doing this so well that I've seen a lot of people have. And I just think it's like so sexy and so cute. So that's been a vibe. Um, and then again, braided slash like cut up threaded clothing. I wore these to Electric Forest last year and then I wore the same romper to Okeechobee. It's just so comfortable. We're all about being comfy these days. I, I didn't have to wear a bra with it. Like it's just the most comfortable thing. You can get them with pants, shirts, bodysuits, rompers, shorts, flares, like literally anything can kind of be cut up. I find a lot of them on Etsy. That's where I got the romper that I wear at those festivals, but there's so many other companies and small businesses in the rave scene doing this style right now. I even know some content creators who have been making their own at home, which is so cool. So I'm loving this. I think we can keep keep pushing it. Again, you can do everything from, you know, mine was just black, but I've seen tie-dyed patterns, all kinds of different vibes. And I feel like it fits a lot of festivals. Like Depending on how you style it, it can be very fitting for like a camping festival like an electric forest or a shambhala or something like that especially if you go with like earth tones or jewel tones or you could go with all black or something and make it super sexy and wear it to like a bass music festival so I feel like it's very uh, flexible in what you can wear it to so definitely seeing a lot of these like braided clothing styles <laughs> I'm going to throw out embellished bras and this is kind of like a throwback because I feel like it's like elevated rave bras from like 2012, 2013, 2014. I used to DIY my own rave bras all the time so I'm very much here for this but um, a couple of content creators did a meetup at EDC Las Vegas where they did like a throwback outfit day and I loved it like Electric Ollie and Crazy Rave Chick did this. They made their own rave bras again so I kind of like love that and that that's coming back but there are other companies who make they're almost like wired bras um where they have like really crazy like patterns over your chest so it can be like flowers or mushrooms or stars or something like that but there's so many different companies that do these like really really crazy rave bras as well and I'm seeing a lot of those paired with just like rave bottoms or like as a matching set as well um, so I'm going to pull up one of the companies that does this so yeah magical wonderland clothing is the one that immediately comes to mind they have these like crazy like almost carnival style bras that they do and they have a lot of them sold as matching sets so just like crazy rhinestones over the top like glitter all of that very very girly loving that um Hair gems and hair stickers I'm seeing a lot of as well. So I know Lunatics posted some photos where they have their like butterfly body gems. 
people putting them on their hair, like in the back of their hair or kind of like in the front. Um, also, they have the, I know I saw them on TikTok, they have those little like rhinestone embellishing things that you can like literally press onto your hair, which I need to buy now. <laughs> it's so cute. So I've seen just like a lot of rhinestones in people's hair, but just a lot of like hair gems and stickers, which is super adorable. So I think we'll see more of that. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of like bold, bright colored patterns, which never really goes away in rave fashion. I feel like that's a staple, especially for like big raves like Ultra or EDC Las Vegas or EDC Orlando. Really, really big raves like that. I feel like you can't go wrong with wearing super bright, colorful patterns. But I want to shout out my friend Lauren Hutzel, who has her new brand, uh, Rewind Collective. Super comfy clothing. I just bought something like a sports bra and shorts, but she has other outfits as well. And they're just really like big, fun, bright patterns. Um, Happy Pills Club is another one. I still haven't bought anything from them, but I just love their aesthetic. It's so neon. It's like crazy. But yeah, I'm seeing a lot of that. Tasteful Girl has done that. They've also done a lot of like kind of groovier patterns, more like 70s and 60s inspired patterns as well. But yeah, I'm, I'm here for the bright colors and the patterns and stuff. Monochromatic looks I think are still super cute. So if you guys want to like rock a color, um, I'm super into like I don't know, I've seen a lot of orange, reds. Reds is like my power color. I absolutely love wearing red to a festival, but you can kind of pick a color as well and just do your whole theme, accessories, like everything, outfit, all in one color. And I think that looks sick. Um, and then my last two, I will say, I've seen side cut pants. I know, know I Heart Raves has done a couple of these. Um, and my girl Dash has worn these. I'm here for it. I love wearing pants. I became a pants girl this past year, but these um, like flares or basically any kind of pants that have like cuts all down the side, uh, I'm very much here for that. I think it's super cute. So definitely gonna be keeping my eye on that trend. And then lastly, I would say feathers. I've seen a couple feather outfits from, oh gosh, I think it was Soul Fest. EDC Las Vegas, I saw a bunch of them. And there was one other festival recently where I saw a lot of like feather um, outfits and stuff like that. But I do think we're going to see more like feathers or big sleeves uh, within the accessories or within the outfits themselves. Lightning in a bottle might have been the other one that I had seen that at. So those are all my predictions. That's kind of what I'm seeing right now. For you guys, this is what you said on Instagram. Sun and moons, which... We're here for that. If you guys didn't see, I released a collection with Rolita Couture. It was my first collab with a rave brand before and the whole inspiration, it's called Celestial Soul and I was totally inspired by the sun and moon and astrology and that's like our whole theme of the collection. It glows under black light as well. So if you guys haven't gotten anything from the collection, I'm going to link it below. It's so exciting to see you guys tagging us in your photos wearing Celestial Soul. Like it makes me so happy because it was such a fun collaboration to work with Rolita on. So I will leave that down below along with my discount code if you guys want to get anything from that. But yes, very much here for the Sun and Moon collections. Um, somebody said Barbie. Obviously Barbie is going to be a huge film coming out this summer. It's coming out in July, I believe. So maybe some Barbie inspired outfits. A couple of you guys said the return of mini skirts and dresses. Definitely. I think we've been seeing skirts for a little while now, but I would say like the really, really like mini skirt or almost like the thong, like faux thong cut skirts are very popular. Um, crochet. Crochet is perfect for, again, like a camping festival vibe. I feel like that's definitely the vibe for like a lightning in the bottle or like any kind of like camping festivals you guys are going to this summer that can be like super comfy and cozy. So yeah, here for the crochet. Somebody else said rhinestones and pearl dots in the hair. Uh, Brits Blossoms makes DJ hoops. So for a lot of her accessories, she has all the fluff, like kitty ears and all the fluff accessories, which are super popular. I have like an entire collection of them. I don't think those will ever go out of style. Um, but she also does some custom drops as well. I have Seven Lions like fluff earrings. But yeah, you can get uh, your favorite DJ. Uh, I believe she has like a couple options of those. So yes. And then you guys said flutter sleeves and bell sleeves. Could not agree more. I feel like we've seen gloves happening for a while and those have definitely been a trend, but the bigger sleeves, the like bell, like long bell sleeves are definitely becoming like way more popular. 
almost giving me that like boa kind of like vibe so yeah definitely here for the long sleeves shorts yes definitely again I've talked about this before going into more of like the comfy era I think a lot of people just want to be comfortable whether it's biker shorts or more relaxed like gym style shorts again like Rewind Collective has some um, I've worn shorts before like AJ's design makes them and then I'm trying to think who else I was oh McEwen Studio I now am an affiliate with them as well she has a bunch of options with biker shorts so yes here for the shorts especially during summer braided rompers we talked about printed full body suits yes cat suits and full body suits kind of like entered the chat this past year they were around but like the bad inca a lot of you guys are wearing that uh i'm loving it i think it looks so sick it, it can't get more comfy than just wearing like one outfit that's like super comfortable there's other companies that make them as well but yeah printed full body suits that are like really trippy or really cool um i feel like can be fun at a lot of different festivals and then the last two fairy tops and then you guys said the return of skirts so yes i feel like the fairy vibe again doesn't really go anywhere but kind of like how i mentioned that like witchy kind of style Um, A lot of like the disco lemonade where it's like these really feminine tops with these really pretty embellished skirts that have like a lot of sequins or I don't know they're just very like ethereal and magical and they make you feel like a fairy princess when you're at a festival like I just feel like those are the vibes for some of those camping festivals so yeah that is everything that I am and you guys are seeing out there right now so if you still have stuff to buy for summer or for fall I will link a bunch of shops and resources down for you guys below. Definitely check these places out. Again, just check where they're from. Some of these companies are based in the UK or even in Australia. So uh, check the shipping times and the delivery dates. But yeah, you guys are going to be so cute. I hope this gives you some inspiration for your outfits. And if you have any questions or want more recommendations, definitely let me know. And if you guys are new here, Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye.